Hi! So today's video, the school of life. <sighs> school of life. This is what it is. It's the school of life. And the way it goes is that when we're on the right track, when we're going through the right curriculum, when we're heading in the direction that our soul came here to experience, it's easy. Very, very easy. It's flowy. It doesn't mean there, are mom there aren't moments that are harder and there aren't moments that are more challenging and there aren't moments where we really reflect and bring out the best in us, where we persevere, where we go for it. All these characteristics that are great and that are things that we admire in, in, in people who inspire us. When we look at inspiring stories, we are very drawn by that, by that, um, that strength of character, that, um, and that, I'm trying to think of the word, I can't remember the word, that grit, that grit that, that makes us keep going and going and believing and just not taking no for an answer and persevering in something that we know is the right track. But the gist of it, the flow of it, is supposed to be easy. Life is not meant to be a struggle. I remember Stuart Wilde wrote a book with that title, and that is really, that is really the truth. And we know it, we know it, because we can look back on our life and see moments when it flowed, when we were in the right place at the right time, when we had um, the resources we needed, when people showed up and opened the right doors when we had things happen that felt like coincidences or serendipity or however you want to phrase it. It just flowed. And that is what it's supposed to be like all the time. Now, how amazing is that? It's actually supposed to feel like that. So when we're off track, when something has steered us in the direction where it's feeling like a struggle, where we feel like we're um, banging our head against the wall trying to make it work, that is the moment to pull back, take a deep breath, really think about it, really take it in that this way is not working and it's time to review another way. And the other way will come once you're open to it. I, I've talked about that in, in, in these videos before, about how when we're open, when we're open-minded and open-hearted, the solutions begin to make their way to us. And it is really a matter of just pulling back and realizing that this way is not working. This is too tough. This is not how it's supposed to be. I'm clearly off track here. And life Life's way of getting our attention is to make it a bit tough so that we realize we're actually not heading in the right direction. So when it is tough, it is a moment to pull back and reconnect, reconnect with source energy, which is, which is working with us, which is part of our co-creative um, force. It's part of our co-creative um, strength. So when we pull back and we reconnect with life and we make a point that this, is, this isn't it, it's too hard, it's not supposed to be like that. And then we are led back to the flow, to the ease, to the gentleness, to the way it's supposed to be, to the way creation really feels. It feels natural. When a seed becomes a tree, it feels, it feels very natural, the progress. We're not going to check on the seed every five minutes to see how it's going. It's a very flowy, you know, this season that happens, this season that happens, etc. So it's a very flowy energy. And this is how our life is supposed to be. It's supposed to flow. So the school of life is here to teach us what we need to teach, what we need to learn, and to equip us with what we need to have to reach the next stage and the next stage and the next stage. And if we are being asked by life to review, then life is clearly asking us to elevate our game, to raise our energy, to do something differently, to reconnect. Because when we're connected, we feel synced in, we feel um, flowy, we feel we feel the ease with which life expects us to, to live and to exist and to be and to grow and to share and to inspire, etc., etc., etc. So the school of life. 
my book, Tap Into Miracles, is actually an education book. <laughs> it's an education book for every age, from zero to 140. We're supposed to live naturally to 140 and be super healthy. If we are healthy of mind and body, it's very natural that we live to 140 in a super healthy, good state. Anyway, this book talks about the school of life and talks about how what's within us is part of our journey. And until we're on that track, life will feel tough. And when we are open to it, subconsciously or consciously, life helps us out. It begins to jam things, make things a bit harder so that we start to ask the questions and so that we move in the direction that is the one we came here to experience. So the school of life is just a school day. What have we learned? Let's reflect on it at the end of the day and start again the next and do it better and better and better until we're flowing. And then we know it, we know it. We just know when it feels flowy. When it feels easy, it feels good, really good. And it feels good to share that energy with the world. So, happy day, happy teachings from the School of Life. Enjoy the lessons and really um, see life as your um, co-creator. It's on your side, it's here to teach you what, what will bring out the best in you. So enjoy the lessons and be open to them and be open to overcoming them and be open to the next stage and the next stage, the next class and the next class and the next class until graduation. It should be a beautiful day. And by the way, if you find this um, interesting, please share it with your friends. I would love that. And if you feel it might help someone else, then great. Um, you will be helping them as well. And uh, remember the channel, if you want to subscribe, there's a button below here. Um, please subscribe so you get these updates automatically. Have a lovely day. Bye.